Welcome back here. Now the Del Mar summer racing season kicking off this weekend. Big part of opening weekend is the fashion, of course. So here to break down what you can expect this racing season and what to wear, we have CEO of Del Mar <laughs> Thoroughbred Club, Joe Harper, and owner of Studio Savvy Salon, Dina Von Yokes. Thank you all for joining Thank us today. Uh, Joe, I want to start with you. Opening day's on a Saturday now. Opening, yeah. First Whoa. time in a long time. I think <laughs> yeah. the 50s was the last time we did this. And uh, and I think it's great. The fair went a little longer mm -hmm. this year, so we started a little later and uh, say, Saturday, why don't we do this all the time? Yeah. So it should be a great weekend. And, uh, you know, it's a party. The opening right. day, it's uh, nobody's looking at the horses. They're looking at the hats. So, yeah. <laughs> the hats, the dresses, the <laughs> outfits, of course, which we're going to get all into here. Uh, but let's talk about this racing season. What can people expect? What might be different perhaps this year? Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's been such a great run you know, ever since we've, Started up this lease, so we're we're gonna we're gonna have you know the usual kind of fun day, opening day, obviously with, mm -hmm. with hats. But we're going to have uh, beer festivals and wine tastings. We're gonna have uh, food things, uh, Taco mm -hmm. Tuesdays, and all nice. that kind of stuff. And Fridays, you can come into the turf club and and get a cool lunch and sit there and watch the races. All right, uh, tell us about the horses. Any horses that we're looking, we well, should look forward to? This year should be really interesting for horses because we have a Breeders' Cup coming in okay. no November. And a lot of those horses, they come from all over the world. And so some of them have never been to Del Mar. So they might come in the summer to get a race into them over the over the track. So we should, we always have terrific horses. And, and you know, for the last five years, we've been the safest track in North America. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, they like to come to Del Mar. Okay. I wanted to ask you about that. Of course, safety does come up. Um, what has the Del Mar racetrack done to make sure these horses are safe? Well, we started about five years ago. We, we changed the racetrack, the mm -hmm. surface, made it safer. Uh, then I started hiring veterinarians every morning to look at, you know, we have 2,000 head of horses over wow. there. They all come out every morning. So we want some professional eyes to look at them in the morning so the trainers can see uh, you know, the vet can see little inconsistencies mm -hmm. and then we get on them. So okay. it's really worked well. I mean, there were, you know, no fatalities at all in races last year and, and it's been it's been really, really, very good and very successful. That's become a priority for you. I, I understand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Joe, for that. Uh, let's now talk about, of course, opening day. There's a big hat contest. Uh, what that is, of course, you are the expert on all of that. Of course, I love what you have on, too. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this. I mean, Saturday's the big day. How are you preparing? <laughs> Saturday, well, the preparation is pretty much done. We do the hair, the hats, Christine Moore. Mm -hmm. So graciously did custom made hats for us, custom like the one made. I'm wearing. And because it is a hat contest and we're not just spectators, but spectators can have fun too. Right. We <laughs> kind of go big and we kind of go outrageous and there's four categories. It's fascinator, theme, glamorous, and um, the whole idea of having the contest is so that you stand out, you create festivity, fun, and the hat contest is over at Plaza de Mexico, and your sign up between 11 and 3 o'clock. So these ladies right here yeah. will have the first one step out. Has, okay, um, let's have our models. I love wow. to try and do like a multiple colored hat right. with a solid dress. But a lot of times, because it is a hat day and it is a hat contest, you want the hat to be the statement. You don't okay. want the hat and the dress to compete. So we toned it down with nice. the dress, solid color. And then Beautiful. Tatiana come out. And then the hat, Look at this that. would be most, well, it would be most glamorous <laughs> is one of the categories I left out. And glamorous is something that can be understated or overstated. But if you have a whole look and it's the person that's wearing the entire outfit that has the attitude, and I took a solid color hat, but mm -hmm. really outrageous in style with um, a multicolored dress. Right. So again, I kind of um, teeter-tottered really the solid with the printed. Right, and just watch where you're going is kind of the oh, advice, yes. right? This <laughs> you, one, you can you take an eyeball out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which but I you have know, people should know that that's what to be expected on Hard opening day, of course. With that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and our next model. What and is this? this? Is Tell Tatiana. us all about it. Now, I love this look because she's got a slip dress, very simple, understated, not over accessorizing because guess what's the star? The hat. The yes. fascinator. The hat. Yep. Is this one? Yes. And this is a fascinator, okay. but it's a mixture of a, a fascinator and a hat, which creates it a hatinator, and that was oh. originated in Australia. So 
Fascinators are a little bit bigger than, um, I mean, a hatinator is a little bit bigger than a fascinator. Okay. So you take a big hat and you take a small fascinator, put it together, nice. and that's a hatinator. A hatinator. Okay, that's a term that's new for me this year. I didn't yes. realize that was a thing. Very nice. Uh, for everyone that's going to be going to opening day, tell us the fashion tips and trends. What do you expect to see this year? This year, we dubbed it, we always give it a theme, and this year it is Bloom. And ah, guess what? Love it. Bloomingdale's is providing the clothes. This is not Bloom. Bloomingdale's today. In fact, the dress in the middle is from my Vaughn Savvy studio, and that was in Ranch and Coast magazine. Nice. And we can't forget, like, it's important to just bring your personality, your style. It's not one set thing, but it's nice to have something like a theme when it comes to blooming. We're thinking flowers. Mm -hmm. So big printed fabric, big printed hats, you know, not printed, but, you know, big right. floral hats. And um, just be playful and fun, and that's what that whole day is about, ponies and hats. Love like, it. Like, what are you going to do? <laughs> What's better than that? And the sun's usually out. Yeah. Fun and fabulous and very fashionable. Nice. Okay, thank you all very much. Beautiful models here. And uh, real quick, if you could tell us the details as far as getting there, um, the time it starts on Saturday. What do people need to know, Yeah, Joe? well, it's about 2 o'clock post. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Get there and early, right? Get there early, yeah, because <laughs> yes. uh, there'll be a lot of folks. And, uh, well, it is a seed. It's going to be. And you can see there's a lot of things to look at besides of horses. Uh, yeah, it'll be a fun day, really. All right. Thank you very much for Thanks. joining us. And that's going to do it for us. We'll be right back.